Today is a sad day for Israel's increasingly circumscribed democracy. Omar Shakir's deportation is the Israeli government's statement of intolerance toward mainstream human rights advocacy. It is standard procedure for human rights groups to insist that businesses avoid complicity in human rights violations. It's a global standard. Omar applied those same principles to ask businesses not to support Israel's illegal settlements. Now, Israel claims deportation is not about Human Rights Watch. It's only about Omar. We can replace him, it says. So it's not about Omar. It's about Human Rights Watch. There's no point replacing Omar because our next researcher would have the exact same problem that Omar did. But as so often happens, the censorship effort has only heightened global interest in what's being censored. Human Rights Watch will not submit to the blackmail of the abuser. Whether Omar is inside or outside Israel, as he directs this work, Human Rights Watch is here to stay. Today marks the culmination of a multi-year effort to muzzle Human Rights Watch and to muzzle the human rights movement more broadly. Despite my deportation today, the Israeli government has failed to muzzle Human Rights Watch or the human rights movement. But more importantly than even that, this case shines a light on the reality we face today. As we stand in this room, we're in year 53 of an ugly occupation with no end in sight, characterized by institutional discrimination, by systematic repression and rights abuses, in particular of the Palestinian people. If the Israeli government can deport somebody documenting rights abuse without facing consequence, how can we ever stop rights abuse? The message that needs to be taken away from this room is there must be a reboot in the way the international community engages around this issue. We can tell you that in two thirds of the countries that decide to deport our researchers, they say, this is about this person who has a particular venom against us. It's not about BDS and it's not about Omar. This is about hiding the face of the occupation. We will continue to do our work. Um, I'll be leaving on a flight to Stockholm uh, with Ken Kenneth Roth, where we'll be briefing uh, the State Secretary of Sweden. I'll be addressing a session uh, of the European Parliament. If the Israeli government thought that by deporting me they would silence us, they failed. Uh, the world is more interested to know not only about the assault on human rights defenders, but about a government that has lost even the pretense of respect for international law and human rights. We're not going to create a special rule for Israel. We're going to apply the exact same standard we do across the world in every country that we cover in the Middle East and North Africa and 100 countries across the globe.